shout out to Kelly Walsh and Alex Demchenko. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for your regular uploads and your chance to be included in shout outs for future videos. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, today I will be making 60 bars for the crisis center up in uh, Brisbane, St. John's uh, Anglican Crisis Centre, they do such amazing work, um, and particularly now because of the floods that are happening up in uh, Queensland and northern New South Wales. So I'll be sending um, 60 bars, which is uh, this recipe here, plus I'll be sending um, lots of uh, dish and laundry bars as well. So I'll be sending those up um, after these have finished curing. I wish I did it sooner uh, making this because then I would have been able to send it already. But um, the floods are going to have an impact, unfortunately, for a while. And um, it's going to take a while for properties to um, be repaired and people to go back to their homes. So I think it'll be okay once this is finished curing. I will um, I'll send it up with some additional laundry bars. And I know they're really, really grateful for um, anything that you send them. They're really, really um, grateful. They... Each time I've like sent stuff up, they've sent me an email and thanked me really much for donating stuff. So if you want to, um, uh, if, you, if you're not looking to like uh, donate any funds, that's fine. You can always um, send like physical stuff, which and they they, are, they appreciate whatever you send them. So like toothpaste, you know, toothbrushes, you know, women's sanitary, you know, pads and just all sorts of stuff, like everyday basics that... We all take for granted, but people that, you know, have, um, are, are displaced and they have lost their homes. Um, anything, you know, they might not have the funds to get the basics. So no matter what you send, it'll be, um, really, really appreciated. So consider just sending, you know, just even a box full of everyday stuff over to St. John's Crisis Centre. I'll provide the link to, um, uh, in the description. And um, the, the fantastic thing about um, that particular crisis centre, even though it is Anglican, but there is a um, misconception that, you know, they only look after Anglicans. That's not the case. They look after everybody. It doesn't matter what racial or religious background you are. Anyone can go to the crisis centre and request help. And that's why it's just such a beautiful thing that they're doing there. And it's full of volunteers. So all the work they do... They all do it from the kindness of their heart and they're not um, expecting anything in return, which is fantastic. So if you can actually just send something to that centre, they'll, they'll, um, they'll greatly appreciate it. Like, I can guarantee you that. Um, I know you've um, heard me mention Magella a few times as well. We've had a chat the other day on the phone. She's stocking up all her soaps also to donate to the crisis centre. She is such a lovely human being. And I'm really glad to have made that connection. Anyway, so stop the yakking. <laughs> now we'll talk about what this is, what it's going on in here. I'm doing a, obviously in a slab. Um, and I am going to be doing rice bran again. So I'm doing 60% rice bran, 10% olive oil, and 30% coconut oil. Um, I really love that combo. I've been actually using that combo now. Um, I've just been making test batches at home, and I'm actually really liking that combination. Um, I have been using 3% citric acid with this recipe in particular. It slows down trace a little, which is great. So it slows down trace, and I'm able to pour it and not really struggle like how you see in that uh, video, the rice brand video that I did. Um, I'm, everything's in here, the white clay, white Australian kale and clay, the activated coconut charcoal, um, uh, French lavender is in here. Um, it's actually half, half. I had half a bottle left of Tasmanian lavender, so I used that up. And the other half is, um, Australian, oh, sorry, not Australian. The other half is French lavender, so it's mix, mix, half, half. 
and um, then there's a one uh, percent cedarwood fix, and also one percent Mei Cheng essential oil. It's a uh, very lemony. It's really nice. It's got like a citrus zest um, scent to it. So this is really nice lavender citrus smell that's happening. Really, really nice combination. And as you know, lemon is very naughty in soap. It flashes off very easy. So this is the next best thing. Um, there are essential oils in here as well. Like, uh, actually, I've just put them all in there. So I put the lid on because I don't want it to evaporate out. Um, the live water is outside cooling. Um, and when that is done, I will combine everything up. Um, I'm thinking, I don't know, should I add coconut milk powder to this? Yeah, I think I might actually. So spare of the moment thing, I'm going to add some coconut milk powder. Um, yeah, so this is the uh, coconut milk uh, powder, organic. I get it from Hello Pure, really good quality. Um, you know, I usually make my coconut milk, but for spare of the moment things and for some recipes, I... Um, do just the powder. So I'm just going to eyeball it. You know, it's a six kilo batch here, so I guess I'll do two big tablespoons. Well, I don't even know. That's not even a tablespoon. That's like a really massive spoon. <laughs> so I'll do two of those. Um, I'm pretty sure each full spoon of that is about 25 grams. So I put about 50 grams worth in here, which is plenty. So it's just going to give that um, extra hydration and um, obviously it will boost lava and uh, it will uh, increase the um, conditioning benefits of the bar overall. So coconut milk powder is just a, 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 an amazing additive to use. So my sodium lactate is just sitting on the side waiting for the low water to cool down. Um, I've only added just a little bit um, of activated charcoal. It looks quite black now, but um, once everything's incorporated and it comes to trace, it will light into a soft grey. And I think it just kind of matches lavender, like a soft grey, you know, purpley type colour that kind of goes with lavender. So I thought that's how I'll colour it. Just fairly simple, straightforward. Nothing over the top, but I know it'll be greatly appreciated. So that's that's always a bonus. Right. So once the low water cools down, I'm going to throw it all together, and um, we're going to make some rice bran soap.